Welcome to Unit 3 on Cell Structure and Function. We are going to start off defining a few simple terms here. First of all, cells are divided into two categories, the prokaryotic cells and the eukaryotic cells. The word prokaryotic means before the nucleus. So prokaryotic cells are cells that describe organisms whose cells do not have a nucleus in them. The opposite of a prokaryote is a eukaryote, which is an organism whose cells do have a nucleus. We are going to spend most of our time discussing the eukaryotic cells because that is the focus of this unit. But to clarify, prokaryotic cells are simple cells without membrane-bound organelles or a membrane-bound nucleus. And basically, only the bacteria have this simple cell structure. Eukaryotic cells, on the other hand, are much more complex, and all other organisms, including plants and animals, are made up of eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells do have a nucleus, and membrane-bound organelles. By the end of this unit, you will have to be able to visually identify each of the major organelles in a eukaryotic cell, state their function, and describe the interrelationship of the organelles in eukaryotic cells. You may also be asked some questions comparing plant cells to animal cells. So let's use a chart to make these comparisons and be sure that you are comparing point for point. For example, if you state that plant cells have a cell wall, then you must also state that animal cells do not have a cell wall. Plant cells have one large central vacuole, while animal cells have many small vacuoles. Plant cells contain chloroplasts well, animal cells do not have chloroplasts. These are the three main comparisons that you may need to know.